If you decide that you want to use Padlet and you want to have a customized background for your Padlet wall, the easiest thing to do is to search for a background in Google Images. So just type in what type of background you want, click on Images, and then select a background. I kind of like this one. It looks like a chalkboard. Then you would click View Image. Once the image comes up, you'll notice that my cursor has a plus sign. That means that it can be a little bit bigger. So go on ahead and click on that, and that will enlarge the image to the, its fullest size. And then hold down the Control key and click, and a menu will pop up. And you want to select Save Image As. Now the menu may vary slightly depending on the web browser that you use. I'm in Google Chrome, so my menu looks like this. So I'm going to click Save Image As. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. Sometimes this little arrow may be pointed downward and so it's very small and kind of limited and so if you'll click on the arrow to point up it will enlarge your saving options so now I'm going to save this to the desktop and then I will go in and hide Google Chrome and I'm gonna come over here this was the image that I saved, and I'm just going to double click on that. When I double click on it, it's going to activate a program called Preview, and this brings up the picture. Now, the first thing we want to do is resize it for the Padlet configuration. And so you would go to Tools to adjust size. Now depending on what the background is, you may wind up distorting your picture if it's something that's more like a picture and not like something like this. Because you can see it uh, right here, it's uh, scale proportionately. So if I change our width needs to be 1280 pixels by 720 but because I have scale proportionately checked it's not letting me do that when I uncheck that then I can change this but realize that uh, some backgrounds depending on what your background is it will it could distort the look of the picture if it's more of a picture something like this where we're just trying to get a colored background that is not as big of an issue now the next thing that I want to do is I'm gonna add some categories I'm going to create a KWL chart uh, on my blackboard so I come up here to the little annotate uh, pin it says show edit toolbar I don't know if y'all know this but you can edit within the preview program. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on the line and I want to make my line white. On this menu I can select that I don't want an arrow, I want a straight line and I want it to be about that thick. <laughs> Now when I click off to the side and get the arrow, then I can move it, adjust it any way I see fit. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do another one. So let me move this one over. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to add my K and I want it to be white and I want it to be about 72 okay W and if you'll notice I'm able to line them up by using 
the built-in align tool and then I'm going to do an L and I click out to the side so that I can get my cursor KWL. Now I'm going to save this and so now I have saved I have created my customized Padlet background. So when I come back here and I go to Padlet and I'm going to click on, I'm already logged in. So when I click on the plus sign to build a wall, the first thing I want to do is come over here to the gear and I'm going to click on wallpaper and I'm going to add my own and I'm going to click right here which is the sign for upload and I'm going to click to browse my desktop I'm going to select my background and I'm going to hit submit and so now I have my customized Padlet background